Dealing with disrespect can be one of the most challenging experiences we face in life. It can cause us to feel angry, hurt, and frustrated, leading us to react in ways that we may later regret. However, there is a way to handle disrespect with grace and poise, and that is through the teachings of Stoicism. This ancient philosophy emphasizes maintaining composure, viewing the disrespectful actions of others as a reflection of their character, rather than allowing that to dictate our own emotions. By practicing detachment and choosing not to be influenced by external circumstances, we can respond to disrespect with resilience, dignity, and understanding. It's even possible for the person who has offended us to realize their mistake, even if they do not acknowledge it. If you follow these steps, I'm sure this can indeed happen. Remember, it's not immediate, but over time, your offenders will realize that you are immune to their disrespect. As always, be strong and maintain focus. Try to watch this video until the end because the last lesson is the most important lesson. Lesson 1. Keep your calm. By keeping your calm in the face of disrespect, you can avoid adding fuel to the fire and escalating the situation further. Instead, you can choose to rise above the negativity and respond in a way that promotes healing and understanding. Remember, the other person's behavior is often a reflection of their own insecurities and misguided beliefs. So taking the high road and responding with compassion and empathy can help diffuse the situation and promote positive change. Imagine you're working at a company, and during a meeting, your coworkers start criticizing your ideas in a disrespectful way. Instead of reacting by getting angry and talking back at them, you decide to stay calm. You listen to their opinions patiently, then state some of the strengths of your opinion and explain your point of view more clearly. This attitude helps you avoid adding to the tension in the meeting and keeps the situation from getting worse. By demonstrating calm, you have the opportunity to promote understanding and positive change in the exchange instead of creating a tense and confrontational environment. Lesson 2. Reflect on yourself. Taking the time to reflect on oneself in the midst of conflict can be a powerful tool for resolving disagreements in a healthy manner. This involves examining one's own motivations and behaviors and considering how one's actions may have contributed to the situation at hand. By doing so, one can identify areas for growth and improvement and make changes accordingly. Additionally, reflecting on one's core values can provide a guiding framework for making decisions and taking action in situations of disrespect. An example of self-reflection in a conflict situation can be when John and Bob, two colleagues working at a company, are in conflict over teamwork. John sent Bob a critical email about how he participated in a recent project. Bob felt hurt and angry about this email and responded in an uncontrolled manner, leading to an argument. After the argument ended, John decided to engage in self-reflection. He reviewed the email he had written and realized that the way he presented his opinion may have been passive and not respectful enough. He recognized that he had not shown respect for Bob's perspective. John also reflected on his core values, including respect and collaboration. He realized that he needed to change his communication and work with Bob to improve their working relationship. John decided to meet with Bob and apologize for the way he had sent the email and expressed his willingness to work with him to resolve the issue respectfully and constructively. Self-reflection helped John understand the reason for the conflict and make positive changes to address the situation in a healthy manner. Lesson 3. Pause and resist the impulse to react. When faced with disrespect, it can be easy to react emotionally without thinking through the consequences. However, taking a step back and pausing before responding can give you the space to think more clearly and respond in a calmer and more thoughtful manner. By waiting to react until you have had a chance to collect your thoughts, you can avoid saying or doing something that could escalate the situation or cause further harm. Pausing before reacting also allows you to control your emotions. Instead of letting emotions guide you, you have time to manage your feelings, accept them consciously, and decide on the best way to deal with the situation. This can help you avoid impulsive reactions and make more informed decisions. 
Furthermore, pausing before reacting is also part of Stoic philosophy. Stoicism teaches us to control our emotions and not let them dictate our decisions. By pausing and restraining emotional reactions, you can apply this Stoic principle and create a calm and self-controlled mindset in your daily life. Imagine you are working in a corporate environment and during a company meeting, a colleague has expressed an opinion that you feel is disrespectful or contradicts your own. Initially, your emotions might be anger, and you may want to respond immediately by opposing that opinion. However, instead of reacting emotionally, you decide to apply the principle from the text above. You pause, take a deep breath, and think about the potential consequences if you were to react with anger. By doing so, you create a space for clearer thinking. Instead of rushing to respond, you choose to continue listening to your colleague's opinion and then calmly discuss and consider their suggestions. This not only helps you maintain a positive work environment, but also allows you to control your emotions and make more thoughtful decisions in challenging situations. Lesson 4. Choose Forgiveness Forgiveness is often seen as a sign of strength, not weakness. This doesn't necessarily mean accepting or forgetting the harm caused by someone's disrespectful actions, but instead choosing to release negative emotions such as anger, resentment, and bitterness. By letting go of these emotions, we free ourselves from their control and can focus on healing and moving forward. Forgiveness doesn't mean we become doormats or allow others to lead us. Instead, it allows us to respond to disrespect with grace and determination seeking justice without being consumed by hatred or vengeance. This path may require time and effort, but ultimately leads to greater inner peace and the ability to build stronger, more meaningful relationships based on mutual respect. Let's assume you have a close friend who betrayed you in the past by revealing a personal secret to others. During that time, you experienced pain, and this betrayal caused significant emotional harm. According to Stoic philosophy, the best approach is to choose forgiveness. This doesn't mean accepting or forgetting the act of betrayal, but instead involves letting go of anger and bitterness in your heart. Here's what you can do. First, have a conversation with your close friend and try to understand why they took that action. They may have had their reasons or been under difficult pressures. Next, focus on deep inner healing. Concentrate on improving your soul rather than holding on to anger. You can also consider whether you can rebuild the relationship with your close friend based on respect and understanding. Finally, forgiveness allows you to free yourself from the burden of the past and focus on the future. In this case, forgiveness helps you release yourself from being controlled by anger and creates conditions for a more peaceful soul. Lesson 5. Practice Empathy Empathy is a powerful tool for building bridges in difficult relationships. By practicing empathy, we can try to see the issue from the perspective of others and understand why they may behave disrespectfully. The important thing to remember is that everyone has their own struggles and challenges, and sometimes their behavior stems from pain or confusion. Compassion for their lack of understanding can help us approach the situation with kindness and patience, even when we disagree with their choices or actions. This doesn't mean we should condone disrespectful behavior, but rather we can seek to understand its root causes and respond with love and understanding. Suppose you have a friend who recently displayed disrespectful behavior towards you, and you don't understand why they did so. Instead of immediately judging and criticizing them, you express empathy for that friend. You try to put yourself in your friend's shoes and consider different aspects of their life. You discover that they have recently gone through a personal difficulty and are facing various pressures. With this perspective, you no longer feel hurt or react impulsively. Instead, you reach out to them and show understanding and empathy. You engage in an open conversation with them and offer assistance if needed. At the same time, you also maintain personal boundaries and do not condone disrespectful behavior. Practicing empathy is not about accepting all behavior, but about approaching the situation constructively and filling it with love and understanding. Lesson 6. Respond with reason, not emotions. 
When we have to face disrespect, we often become agitated and angry. However, this only increases conflict. Instead, focus on qualities like wisdom and courage, which will help you approach the situation with a calmer mind and respond with reason rather than relying on emotions. By demonstrating wisdom, we can find creative solutions to the ongoing problem, while courage helps us protect ourselves and effectively communicate regardless of any fear or anxiety that may be rising. Practice responding with these qualities. It can lead to more effective and satisfying results in difficult situations. Suppose you work in a project team at a company and another team member has failed to complete their task, causing dissatisfaction among other team members. An emotional reaction might involve anger or criticism towards that team member. This can create a tense situation within the team and increase conflict. Instead of reacting emotionally, you can focus on qualities like wisdom and courage. You can demonstrate wisdom by asking questions and listening to why the team member faced difficulties in completing the task. By showing courage, you can suggest ways to help and support that team member so they can be more effective in the future. In this example, a character-based response can help reduce tension within the team and create conditions for improving the situation rather than adding more conflict. Lesson 7. Use humor or simply smile. Using humor or smiling is not only an expression of happiness, but also an important tool for managing stress and dealing with stressful situations in life. When we smile, the brain often reacts by producing endorphins, hormones that help reduce stress and boost optimism. This can help us maintain an optimistic outlook in any situation. Furthermore, smiling has the ability to ease tense situations in communication. When we smile, conversation partners often feel more comfortable and find it easier to share opinions or resolve conflicts. This helps create a positive communication environment and facilitates understanding and reconciliation. However, using humor or smiling should be done respectfully and sensitively. This is especially important in sensitive situations or when dealing with the emotions of others. Using humor should not offend or trivialize others' emotions, but should be done in a tactful and timely manner. Imagine you are attending a large family gathering on Christmas. Your family is coming together to have dinner and share joy. During this feast, however, there are conflicts within the family, and the atmosphere is not always harmonious. In a situation like this, you can use humor to lighten the mood and create a more peaceful environment. When you notice an argument or tension arising, you can say something humorous like, Oh, we've had too many years to argue about this. Can we change the topic to something more fun? Or remember, not long ago, we promised not to argue on Christmas this year, right? Statements like these can make everyone laugh and reduce tension in the atmosphere, allowing the family to focus on the positive aspects of the gathering and enjoy their time together. Lesson 8. Embrace acceptance. Acceptance is an important aspect of personal development and maturity. It allows us to let go of unrealistic expectations and comparisons, instead focusing on our journey and progress. Embracing acceptance means acknowledging that we cannot control the actions or reactions of others, but we can control our own reactions and attitudes towards them. When we learn to accept people and circumstances as they exist without judgment or resistance, we can cultivate inner peace and happiness without depending on external factors. In this way, we can respond to disrespect with patience and calmness rather than anger or resentment. Imagine you are driving and stuck in heavy traffic. Instead of getting angry and resentful towards everyone around, try to think about accepting this situation. This means you understand that you cannot change the traffic condition, and no one else can. Instead, you can try listening to your favorite music in the car and enjoy the time on the road as an opportunity to relax and clear your mind. By accepting the reality without getting angry, you can feel calmer in this challenging situation. Lesson 9. Set Clear Boundaries Setting clear boundaries is an essential part of self-care and self-respect. This means being conscious of what you will and will not tolerate in your life and communicating those limits to others. By maintaining resilience and steadfastness in the face of challenges, 
Much like a mountain stands strong and unyielding amidst the surrounding winds, we can learn to maintain self-determination and self-worth even when faced with disrespectful behavior from others. By setting clear boundaries and never compromising our own intentions, we can respect our own needs, desires, and establish a foundation for healthy relationships with others. Imagine you are a sports enthusiast who regularly participates in weekend sports activities with friends. One day, a colleague calls and suggests you join a work meeting over the weekend. You want to preserve your weekend time for leisure and sports activities. By setting clear boundaries, you can first have a respectful conversation with your colleague and explain that you already have plans for the weekend and cannot attend the work meeting. Second, propose alternative suitable times for the work meeting that do not conflict with your plans. Third, make it clear that you value your time and aim to maintain a balance between work and leisure. This helps you protect your weekend time for relaxation and engaging in activities you enjoy while demonstrating self-respect and work-life balance. Lesson 10. Change Your Perspective Viewing from a higher and broader perspective can help us navigate through difficult situations with clarity and composure. This relates to stepping away from the present moment and looking at the bigger picture, recognizing that everything and everyone ultimately changes and passes. This change in perspective can help us avoid being swept into feelings of revenge or anger and instead respond with wisdom and inner peace. It also reminds us that material possessions, power, and temporary pleasures are fleeting and not worth attaching too much importance to as they can lead us away from our ultimate goals and meaning. One day, David was facing a lot of pressure at work. He felt stressed and agitated due to the daily challenges and pressures. However, after changing his perspective, he decided to apply this principle to his life. David decided to pause, take a deep breath, and try to look at the situation from a higher perspective. Instead of focusing solely on short-term difficulties, he started thinking about the bigger picture. He realized that his current job was only a part of life, and everything would ultimately change and pass. From this perspective, David felt calmer and could handle the pressure with more wisdom. He was no longer caught up in feelings of revenge or anger, but instead reacted with serenity and inner tranquility. He also realized that success and material possessions were just a part of life and should not lead him away from his ultimate goals and meaning. David began to seek joy and meaning in spiritual things and social interactions, and he felt his life became richer from then on. By applying this mindset, we can focus on developing inner qualities like inner peace, humility, and wisdom, which are more valuable and enduring. Facing disrespect can be a challenge, but it is entirely possible to respond with grace and composure. By following these 10 valuable lessons provided by Stoic philosophy, you can develop strength and resilience from within. These skills will help you deal with disrespect constructively, assert your rights, repair the damage done to you, and maintain your dignity and self-respect. It's important to recognize that the path to inner strength and resilience requires effort and commitment. It requires you to face your own flaws and limitations, learn to control your emotions, develop good habits, and seek guidance and support from mentors and role models. The rewards are worth it because it allows you to live a life filled with joy, love, and meaning. So the next time you encounter disrespect, remember these 10 lessons and apply them in your response. With each passing day, you will become stronger, wiser and better equipped to face any challenges that come your way. And ultimately, you will realize that you have the power to overcome any obstacles, whether they are internal or external. As Epicurus once said, some things are in our control and others are not. The things in our control are opinion, pursuit, desire, aversion, and, in a word, whatever depends on our will. So take control of your thoughts and actions, and let the journey towards inner strength and resilience begin. Please leave a comment and share your wisdom if you watch the video to the end. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel so that I can bring you the wonderful lessons of Stoic philosophy every day. Thank you for watching.